everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review of the Casio CTK240 keyboard, which is the keyboard that I do all my videos on, which you can find in the description box if you're interested. But let's just get started. So let's start with a few things about the keyboard. It has 49 keys, which is not that many compared to a full-sized piano, which has 88 keys. And These days, keyboards generally have 61 keys, which a lot of professionals say that is plenty because you never use the higher and lower octaves anyway in most songs. But yeah, this keyboard has significantly less. Excuse the horrible quality, but on the screen now you can see what the keyboard looks like full sized if you're interested. So a few things about the keyboard. It has 100 tones, as you can see here in the green. And let's just go over here. On this screen, you can see what tone you're using currently and you can change it using these buttons. It does tell you here the different categories of the tones, rhythms and songs for if you are quickly searching. A couple more things about it, it has 100 rhythms and 50 song bank tunes. So I'll click and show you a tune, click on song bank, and then you can go over here and change it. I'm going to pick, um, when the saints go marching in, others you could choose are Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, London Bridge, Amazing Grace, Old Lang Syne, just songs like that, quite a few classic ones. And then press the start and stop button. Okay, something I just wanted to note about that is that when you go on a different song, it changes the tone to whatever is related to that song, and it sounds really good because you can just play along easily and it doesn't sound out of place at all. Okay, so in terms of the actual keyboard, it is very easy to carry, I can lift it easily, I always change it from its stand to the desk, and it's very, very simple to use, I love it. Um, I've not had any problems with it, it's easy to set up, and it charges straight to the wall with a AC adapter. It has two large speakers at either end, so it has really good sound. But obviously it's very, very, very cheap, so there's obviously going to be somewhere where it falls short. And the place where that falls short is with the keys. They're not weighted, so if you're looking for the authentic feel of a piano, then you're at the wrong place, basically. But honestly, the main thing I wanted to say that the keys are not touch sensitive. So when you're playing, you can't make the accompaniment quieter than the melody, because however hard you press down, or the length of the time that you press down for, it's always going to be the same loudness, unless you change the main volume, but you can't change it each individual key. If you're a beginner and you are just starting with a keyboard and you just want a very, very affordable, cheap keyboard, then I suggest this is the one for you because you can get it for around £70, which I think is brilliant. However, if you're wanting to take it a bit further and make the pieces sound more authentic to the original song, then I would definitely recommend looking into one that is touch sensitive. I think in the near future I'll be buying another one in the CTK range. I'm thinking about the 3200 or just something a bit more advanced that is definitely touch sensitive with weighted keys because I didn't really know anything about keyboards when I was getting this one. So all in all, very portable, very slim, very easy to carry and I definitely recommend it for beginners. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the description, no not the description, the comment section below and I'll definitely get back to you if I can. Thank you for watching this tutorial, I hope this, it's not a tutorial, oh my god, it's a review and I hope this helps you. Bye everyone, I'll see you in a tutorial next week. Bye!